Hey guys, Joe from One Up Reviews, and today we've got a sandal review and an unboxing of the Stussy Birkenstock Boston Clog. Before we get into this review, guys, if you're new to our channel, remember to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you never miss any of our latest reviews. Slap that thumbs up, we wanna see those likes. It helps us with the algorithms. Drop some love in the comment section below. We try our best to reply to every single comment thrown out our way. I just wanna take this time and opportunity to thank our subscribers, new and old. Without you guys, we aren't able to do this. Let's go. So today we've got a look at, in my opinion, well, it's my personal favorite release of this year and we got the Stussy Birkenstock Boston Clog and we got these in the bone colorway and we've got it in a UK size 7.5 it's a European 41 and it's a men's US 8 also because these are Birkenstocks they come in two fits so you got a regular fit and the narrow fit I did not see a narrow fit for these Boston Clogs on the Stussy website I didn't even check the Birkenstock because I don't think it was on the Bergstock website. But these were only available at Dover Street Market and Stussy, if I remember correctly. I was able to get this from the Stussy website and it was only available in the normal, regular fit. So before we get unboxing, just wanna show the box off. So instead of the blue Birkenstock box that you're used to seeing, this Boston Club comes in a brown and you've got the Stussy logo here with Birkenstock and that's the only difference. You got all the other models of Birkenstock shown on the side of the box as well. Here it is. Now, if you've not seen our review of the Arizona, that's Birkenstock's most famous sandal, check it out. I'll give a little more in-depth history of Birkenstock as a brand. But for a quick review, Birkenstock are a German brand. They were known for making insoles. And as a result, they made great sandals that mold to the underside of your foot. So it's great for comfort, all that jazz. That's why Birkenstocks have been so popular through the decades, through the centuries even, because these were made in 1774. So it stood the test of time. Now, with the, all that said, we'll start with the outsole. So like the majority of Birkenstock sandals, they are made out of an EVA outsole and they have the same patterning. So you've got the Birk logo all around. It, well, it's not all around, it's on some bits of the traction patterning. So the midsole unit is still that EVA, but you get into the most famous bit, you've got this silicone and cork hybrids that makes the footbed, and that's where all the comfortability, the cushioning of the sandal is. And again, as I mentioned before, Birkenstock are renowned for their comfort once you break them in. So I do mention it in Arizona, sandal review as well, that you have to break these footbeds in to gain the maximum comfort. There are reasons why people wear the same Birkenstocks because they've broken into them and they are just so, so comfy. Gonna be an investment, a bit of time to eventually break these in, but obviously these are clogs. I'm gonna wear these like every day, so I'm gonna break into them really soon. Now we look at the upper. So this upper is a hairy suede upper. It makes the complete upper as you can see here it's all around the sandal and the most striking point you know the most important part what makes it stussy is the little stussy emboss that is just below the buckle here and you can see it on the lateral side don't know if you can see it from this side of the camera however we're going to show you the b-roll and it's just magnificent you look at that stussy branding giants stussy are one of the biggest street brands in the world what they've done to do another. So this is the second collaboration with Birkenstock. It's just amazing because Birkenstock is an old, great, reliable brand. I wish I did get a pair of the first Birkenstock Stussy collab because they were really nice. They were the corduroy upper, so clean. I've never seen anything on a sandal. In all honesty, guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. I've always had my eyes on the normal Birkenstock Boston clog in the taupe colorway. However, they sell out and we've seen it recently with the trends of casual comfort style, if that makes any sense. 
But loads of people have been investing their money into slippers. I mean, this is essentially a slipper. You just slip your feet on. And as you can see it, they've been using their clogs indoors in their house, homeware, and they can easily pop them out to the shops. And they're so easy to style as well. You can wear them with wide leg trousers, shorts, tracksuit bottoms. Those are just a fair few examples of what I'm gonna wear with these. But yeah, it's great to see that clogs, the slippers movement, they've been great. Obviously, we have everyone being locked in with the whole Unfortunately, everyone's stayed indoors and that's why they want to be comfortable. So they've invested in their clogs, their slippers. And we've seen it, we've done a couple reviews of clogs. So we've done the classic Crocs and we've raved on about that. And it's only right that I get another pair for the outdoors and what better pair as i mentioned before with the big big giants of streetwear stussy everyone knows about stussy you know i know i'm just blabbering on but i'm just telling you the importance of how big this collaboration is because stussy and birkenstock this is the second drop uh, unfortunately i wasn't able to get the pink colorway or the caramel i wanted these to be honest because of the resemblance to the top but that pink one just sold out as soon as on the morning of and what I'm trying to get to is that Birkenstock they wanted to partner with really great brands unfortunately they didn't do a collab with Supreme and you know Supreme is Supreme but the fact that um, they turned down Supreme and decided to partner with Stussy by the way it wasn't as a result of I'm pretty sure they have a line up with Stussy in the works for time don't call me on that, I could be wrong. But yeah, it's dope to see collaborate with a true originators of the streetwear scene. So I know I've talked about a lot of the history of Birkenstock and Stussy, I guess, and not a lot about the, these clogs, but I'll tell you what, honestly guys, with it being all winter season here in the UK, you're gonna see loads of people. I've seen it many times on the trains that I'm on, on my way to work. I've seen many guys, girls, or whatever you identify yourself with, they're wearing clogs. It's amazing. We love it. We love to see it. And big shout out to Mule Boys. I think that's the Instagram account, but that's where I got it. I love the inspiration for what to style with these. Like I said, it's just great to see mules just be a part of the trend and hopefully that trend doesn't die. So I know I'm talking, you want to see me wear these. So roll that footage of me wearing these burger top clogs on. When it comes to the fit guys, I want to address one thing that we mentioned in our review of the Arizona Birkenstocks and that is the sizing. So when it comes to the sizing, I do recommend that you get your true to size UK fit. I am a true to size UK size 7.5, which so happens to be a European 41. Now you guys watching, I'm pretty sure you are avid Nike and Adidas wearers and you're gonna go compare your European size for what you wear for those brands. Now, I am a UK size 7.5 for Nike, which is a European size for you too. And for Adidas, I'm a UK size 8, which is a European for you too. Now, if you can see where I'm going here, that you're gonna have to get a size down 
if you are judging by European sizing. So for example, if you're a European size 44, you'd like to try it in a European size 43 because it's gonna be a bit big. But as you can see here, with this being the European size 41, it's a better fit. There's not a lot of slippage from my heel. I mean, it's exposed as you can see here. And I just wanna mention that there's like these little toe grooves that you're meant to rest your toes on. You can only feel it when you're inside the mule, the clogglet themselves, but you can feel it on your toes. They are comfortable when you wear them, just a bit lumpy because you have to wear them in. So they get a shape on the side of your foot. And I know I've worn Birkenstocks in the past, but I'll give some loving, you know? Give it some time, give it some love, and eventually you'll get the footbed shaped to your feet. And it's just amazing. Honestly, guys, you're gonna have to take my word for this. But yeah, what a dope cop in my opinion. I mean, I'm all about comfort, I'm getting old. I'm gonna shout out Jeff and Chris because we're venturing to the other side of the 20s. So we're all about comfort here at 1UP Reviews. We've done Crocs, as you can see here now. We've uh, ventured deep into the Bostons. Really great finds. Honestly, guys, if you're able to get a pair of the Stussy, then go for it. But it's the same as any other Boston clog. It's just got the Stussy branding on it. Again, I mentioned I wanted the Taupe. These are a great, great alternative. I mean, the Taupe is a great alternative for these. But yeah, that rounds it off. I'm gonna show you the 360. Thanks guys for watching. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. Follow us at 1UP Reviews with we'll the end. Until next time, peace.